They were shouting, they were climbing into windows, uh, they were dragging down the Estonian flag and so on. Eventually the crowd broke through the gates and found themselves in the courtyard, ready to storm the building and take officials hostage. Word of the attack spread quickly and Prime Minister Edgar Savasa got on the radio to inform the public. Tulem Naukogu ja Eesti Vabariigi valitsus kutsuvad rahast valitsusoone kaitsele toont peale. Interrinde ja töökollektiivi tööennõukogu jõugud on toont pea lossi sisse piiranud ja seda rünnatakse. Pordan toont pead rünnatakse. Within minutes, thousands of Estonians flocked to defend Tompea. Interfront was now trapped within the courtyard, with no way out except through the Estonian crowd outside. But it was really a tense situation because uh, everybody thought that now the first violence starts. If it, if it goes violent, there might be a big problem. It seemed that violence was inevitable. But the Estonians remained level-headed. Eventually, the crowd parted, allowing a column of Interfront members to run the gauntlet and retreat. And in this situation, that the Estonian crowd kept very calm, very cool. For, for me, it's a, the, the real value, the real symbol of this Estonian type of, of, of making politics, making it calmly and without blood but making it so that you will have your objectives, your aims to be fulfilled. It was a major, major really victory we had that we didn't have any drop of blood, any drop.